What the heck? He just threw his food off the table. Sam, I need you to wake up. I need you to help me. So I need you to change the baby's dirty diaper. Hey, what is up, you guys? It's Megan, and today we are back with more of the Legacy Challenge. It's not really a challenge. It's just more of the series that I have going. Where we left off, we had a little baby girl, and we named her Stella. If you guys are wondering why this is not a live stream, oh no, Megan went to work, and the baby is screaming. If you guys are wondering why this isn't a live stream, it is because I am currently out of town in San Antonio, so I am not around to be able to do a live stream. So today, you guys are just going to get an everyday video, and I hope that's okay, but live streams will return next week. So on today's episode, what we need to do is we need to focus on our three little children as normal. Like it's our job to take care of them after all, you know? So we have one asleep, this one's Jim, and then Kit is using the restroom. Working on, you know, his potty skill, and hopefully that's kind of getting up there, because I feel like I've potty trained them a good amount, and they should probably close. Oh yeah, so he's level two, so he could definitely use the restroom on his own. He doesn't need any help. And he is about to be in the next skill of the movement skill, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put him over here to dance. I don't think he needs dance help. I think he just already knows how to dance. I don't know why he would need dance help. So we're gonna see if he could get some help with that. No, did, did dad say no and he just went away? Why don't we come over here and dance? Come on. Oh, dang it. So Sam and Megan both went off to work. We are gonna send both the boys to daycare to, you know, be taken care of while we are at work and I will be back as soon as we're back. Okay, so Megan has returned with $232 and she's received a vacation day. So we are going to work on teaching Kit to talk. Actually, does he is he the one that probably needs to talk? Oh, we have right here, we have Stella's birth certificate, which we are going to put on the wall next to Kit and Jim's. Now let's check out the skills. So Kit, here's his set of skills right here. His communication is a level three as opposed to Jim, whose communication is a level three also. So good. They're kind of working about the same amount. And if you're feeling so sad, why don't you come over here and just dance to the beautiful children's music. <laughs> Sam should be coming home from work pretty soon at 7 p.m. So about an hour and a half of Sims time, which should be about nothing. Who just leveled up at what? The babies are dancing. It's the cutest thing ever that I've ever seen. If you guys have not witnessed the baby dance, I highly recommend it. It's too cute. For me to comprehend look at that so now i'm just gonna let everybody kind of do their things until sam gets home in one hour okay sam should be home any second oh good and he received a promotion to a government agent samuel has been promoted to a government agent he will now make an additional six simoleons per hour for a grand total of 57 simoleons per hour he has also received the following bonus 851 simoleons and a tactical map his next shift is thursday at 10 a.m so awesome he is going to be you know going to work and a promotion how much does he make now uh six dollar what oh an additional six i was like he makes six dollars an hour so he makes pretty good money i would say what we're gonna do is we're gonna have megan start um a painting from reference well no because then i have to take a picture then just a large surrealism painting to work on that why are you feeling sad because you're feeling bored why don't you come over here and play with jupiter's house and then you guys could play it together why is he angry is he cranky from being tired it looks like it, but we'll let him play for just a bit. And Sam, what do you need to do? He definitely needs to sleep, but I don't think that we have time for that. You know, we have baby boys to take care of. You know, you can't just go to sleep after you get home from work whenever you have children. That's not the way it works. So let's see. Instead, he can browse the intelligence database to work on that next promotion goal. So what we're going to do is we are going to come over here. I think it's, no, nope. come over here. More choices. No, <laughs> come on. More choices. Web, browse, intelligence, database that's what we need to do okay sam is doing that who's pretty hungry so over here we got the kids they are in not the best shape they're kind of angry so what we need to do is we need to have megan come over here and prepare some food give food to kit let's give him some yogurt and then we can give food to jim and he can have um some yogurt as well because they are twin brothers so they can they could just share they could have the same type of food and it shouldn't be a problem I think that we're trying to finish this painting. This is beautiful, by the way. Wow, um, let's see. And we are about 50% done with our daily task. We do have work at two days, so we kind of have a while. I um, mean, we're only level four of the painting skill. So we are definitely working on improving in that. What the heck? He just threw his food off the table. Sam, I need you to wake up. I need you to help me. So I need you to change the baby's dirty diaper. Oh my God, he's running. Look at him, guys. Kid's running. I didn't think he could run like that. He's like, why are you crying? Stop crying <laughs> so sam is coming over to here to help take care of the baby he's also gonna bottle feed him kid threw a fit like he's starving why are you throwing a fit 
You're being a bad toddler. What you need to do is you need to... I don't yell at him. More choices. Toddler care. We need to discipline him. Like, tell him that it's not okay. Mean? Scold. You can't be a bad toddler. You're being a bad toddler. I don't get what his deal is. Like, yeah, he's tired, but he was also hungry, and then he threw his food on the floor. Like, who does that? Go ahead and ask for more food, I guess. Like, stop throwing a temper tantrum. And you're supposed to come over here and eat this yogurt because you have a little hunger. I don't know where things went wrong here, but they definitely did. God, our relationship is not going well. So we just asked for more food. Yes, you can have more food. Just don't throw this one on the ground this time. Eat it like a good little baby. He's like totally not into it. He's frowning. He doesn't want any part of this. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so this painting is done. Let's see. Can we sell this for a good amount of money? Sell the art gallery. Yeah, that's fine. Who's crying and why? You're crying? I think it's time for you to be put to bed. So we're gonna more choices, toddler care. We're gonna read you to sleep. We're going to take Sam. And then we are going to more choices, toddler care, read him to sleep. Just read both of the boys to sleep um, because they could use it. And then Sam and Megan can also go to sleep after a long day at work. We could sell this bowl for a good amount of money right here. And look, they have their iPads on the ground. They just never use them. Are you putting them to sleep? No. Okay. So, no, don't pass out. It's okay. It's fine. So, basically, let's see, throw tantrum. Don't do that. All right. So, he's being put to bed, and you still need to read him to sleep. More choices, toddler care. Uh, read to sleep. Let's see if we can get these boys to sleep. Come on. I know we could do it. Did we just abandon this? Stop it. He doesn't like to be woken up, but he needs to be, like, you know, check toddler, put to bed. More choices, toddler care. Read to sleep. Oh my gosh. He's so fast now. He's so fast. <laughs> I cannot get these kids to be read to sleep. Do you guys see the problem I'm having here? Bedtime story, please. Whoa, his relationship with the mom is not good at all. Look at this. He does not get along good with her at all. I'm gonna need to work on that a lot. There we go. So we'll have Megan read to Jim. Hopefully that will improve their relationship because their relationship seems to go back and forth a lot. Why aren't you reading kid to bed? Read kid to sleep. We don't need to do all this chit chatting. There, just, just read him to sleep. Look, he's throwing a fit. Why is he? Okay, he stopped. <laughs> I was like, why is he doing that? Okay, good. So one of them is asleep. Listen to story. Listen. No, don't do that. Okay, here we go. Now we're able to read them to sleep. Why does why does Jim not like us very much? Where's mom? We do our best, don't we? So what I think I'm gonna do is let's see if we have any food in here. Open, eat some fruit salad just because we're home and then once kids asleep, we can also do the same. First Sam, you can open and then he can also get a serving of fruit salad. Get throw away these animal crackers and then we need to clean off their, what are these, high chairs? Okay, time to wake up. All the babies are crying, the toddlers are waking up. Sam didn't get much sleep at all unfortunately but that's okay because megan got a good amount so what she needs to do first is she needs to feed the baby she can breastfeed him and then bounce him and coo at him let's see we need to work on these these little kiddos we could play with jim maybe praise him for being a good boy you are crying why are you crying put me to bed from low injury i'm still tired why aren't i in bed someone put me back in bed okay go to bed then i just go back to sleep you're okay so we are feeding their little baby sister stella hey hey now no need to be a grumpy gus don't you have food in your inventory yes eat the blackberries that are in your inventory and it looks like jim is super stinky now so we have just finished up no, now the baby's diaper is full again. Dang it. So what we need to do is change the dirty diaper because that takes like no time before we commit to playing with the toddler. Change his diaper. There we go. And that'll stop the crying. So what we need to do is apologize. And maybe we can also give him a bubble bath. Get bubble bath because he is a little stinky and maybe that'll help him not be so... He does not like us at all. What's the problem? Like I get apologized to him, but he just doesn't like us. Like our... Relationships with kids just I don't get it like I give him food I do what he asks and then he hates me like is he gonna throw the food on the ground? No, he seems like he's gonna eat it seems like he's gonna be a good baby, but I'm still just really concerned Okay, so I definitely need to fix my relationship with Jim. He doesn't like me at all So let's brighten his day. Maybe let's tell him a story. Let's give him a bubble bath that might make him like us, right? Does he like the story? Look at this. Like, this is so sad. He's our son, but he doesn't really even like us. Like, we can give him a bubble bath. Sam, don't. This is not your place. You're fine. Go talk to, tell a funny story to the kid. Just leave Jim alone. I'm working on Jim right now. What the heck? We need to, we need to take, we need to bathe him. It's on the list of things to do. I don't know why we haven't done it yet. There we go. 
So we should be taking him to get a bath now. And Sam went off to work, so that's fine. What the heck? Bathe him. Don't, no, don't. No, we don't need to take a shower either. Don't do that. Give Jim a bubble bath. Everybody loves bubble baths, and this should work right. Why doesn't he, like, stay in the bath? More choices. Give bubble bath. Jim. Like, why doesn't Jim, does Jim not want a bath? Bubble bath time. Watch. Okay, so he, like, hates us, first of all. Like, look at this. He's like, I'm not having any of this. I am too upset. Look, he just gets out immediately. Jeez. How is he passed out from exhaustion? Like, I've been trying so hard to give him a shower. Maybe that's why I couldn't, because he was just too tired. But I'm trying really hard, I promise. Like, I keep on trying to pick him up and stuff so that we can give him a bath. But it's just too hard and maybe it's just because he's too tired right now we are just gonna read him to sleep for now and see if that helps hopefully you can take a bath whenever we get up or whenever he gets up and he's not about to pass off from sleep exhaustion oh and look kid is pretty dirty too let's talk to the baby see what that is why is he still so tired why are the babies so tired i'm like trying really hard to keep it together and then just keep on i just need sam to come home and help me with this like, what the heck? Jim didn't actually go to sleep. I swear, the toddlers are bugged, guys. I, the toddlers are so bugged. Forget about Jim. We need to take care of the baby. Like, the baby is something that just constantly works. But for some reason, Jim, like, I, I just don't know what it is. Like, none, the toddlers, they're, they get really glitchy. So, he's not happy with us. I'm gonna have Sam leave work early so that we can start to bathe these kids. Let's see, more choices, toddler care. Uh, give bubble bath. Give a bubble bath to Kit. And we still need to work on our relationship with Jim. So, oh god, and the baby's crying again. Just so many things. So many things need to be done. Okay, right now, both the boys are sleeping. Sam, he could probably go to sleep too, and then that could help us kind of get further in what we're doing. Sleep. Like, if all the Sims actually, like, went to sleep. And I know it's the middle of the day, and I guess the toddlers just have to sleep twice a day. But it's just kind of annoying that I wasn't able to fully get them, like, to sleep. So here's his energy. It's going up. It's like their energy goes up and then it melts down for some reason. But they are getting pretty hungry. And all the babies are crying. Just all a lot to do. We are gonna serve Caesar salad. We are gonna have Sam wake up because he needs to take care of the babies. What we need to do is we need to bottle feed, bounce, kuat. We need to have you. More choices, toddler care, give a bubble bath. Like there's just like a list of things that needs to be done. Read kid to sleep has already been done. So there, I don't know why this baby's not in a good mood. Okay, it just needed some social, I think. Let's just give somebody a bubble bath. Yes, okay, finally. One of the kids is getting a bath and now he's not anymore. <laughs> Are the toddlers Gosh. broken? I don't understand what's happening. If somebody has any explanation to why this is happening, please let me know. Because I am starting to get really desperate at this point because I cannot take care of the babies. And it's making me very sad. Okay, I restarted my game from the main menu. And maybe now we'll actually be able to give... Oh, look, he's clean. Is he actually clean? No, he's not. He's dirty. So what we need to do, do not get in the shower. You do not need to take a shower. We need to worry about taking the kids and giving them showers and baths. So let's give Jim a bath now. Now that we've restarted our game, hopefully that can help fix some glitches. Or we can just stand in place and not do anything for a while. That's fine, too. More choices. Give bubble bath. Can kit get a bubble bath no okay Ugh! it's so annoying it's seriously so annoying how hard i am trying to bathe these children and it's just not working please give them a full bath oh my god god i'm so annoyed i'm just gonna have the babies grab servings i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get a different bathtub maybe the bathtub is a problem like i just don't see what the big deal is like right here in the middle of the living room just right here and are the babies gonna grab servings of the food okay good so they both got a serving we need to come over here we need to change the baby's dirty diaper unless sam is on top of that hopefully no he's just gonna coo at the baby but he is over here so we'll have him change the diaper bottle feed after the kids are done eating then we're going to need to why why is everything in the way why is everything broken very frustrating very frustrating indeed um because what we need to do is we just need to just give one of these kids a bubble bath there now his hunger is full why are we worrying about ourselves? we need to not worry about ourselves right now do you want to give them a bath is he more capable okay let's see is this gonna work watch there's no actions on him there's no actions on her why can't i bathe my toddlers i'm like kind of frustrated and i'm assuming that the game is just glitched because i can't do anything like bath please watch just watch this full entire thing please give me a bath i am super dirty i would really like a bath yeah, okay, sure. I'll give you a bath. There's no other needs here. It says take bath. There's no other things here. Megan's in a good mood. The baby is tired. 
But that's not why we aren't able to take a bath. Like, I just don't know what to do. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments saying that I need to bathe the child. But there's nothing that I can do at this point. So I don't really know what to do. Because I can't bathe them. I might, like, cheat their hygiene in. Because they are glitched and I don't want them to be in a bad mood forever. So I guess I'm just gonna have to see. Guys, let me know what you think I should do. But I think that that's a good place to end this episode. It was just me being very angry the whole time at the bathtubs. And the way that toddlers are glitched. So I don't know, guys. Maybe, maybe next week will be a better day. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget, if you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button for more. I upload Sims content every single day here on my channel. So thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.